Hello kids. Do you know how hard working we ants are? An ant collects about 20 grains in a day. And in my house, we are a total of 75 ants. So can you imagine how much food that will be? Hmm. Hey, why don't you guys calculate the total grains for me? Need help? Amber, surprised? Oops, you surprised me, Fairy. What brings you to this side of the forest today? Don't you remember, Amber? Annie is alone at home today, and we had planned to give her some company. Oh dear, I forgot, Fairy. Let's start for Annie's place right now. I have made loads of plans for this evening. We will play many fun games and eat cakes and ice cream. But first I want to know what fairy has in her bag. This is a new game that I have made. What's the game fairy? It is called the bouncing multiplication game. What do you mean by bouncing multiplication game? These are magic bouncing sweets. They bounce on numbers written on this mat. But they will bounce only in multiples of the numbers you first put them on. Sounds like a very complicated game. <laughs> oh, it's not complicated at all. You just need to understand multiplication really well to play this game. Okay, we will play this game if you explain a little about multiplication first. Multiplication is repeated addition. Now, when you multiply a number with another number, the product is a multiple of each of the numbers. You can find multiples of a number by multiplying it with other numbers. Now, I will show you how we can use multiplication to play this game. This mat has a number line on it. I have placed the sweet on the number 0. The sweet will bounce on the multiples. So you have to find the multiples of 3. If you get the answers right, then the sweet is yours. The sweet will cross 3 numbers one time to land on 3. So 1 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3. The sweet will cross 3 more numbers to land on 6 so it has crossed three numbers twice so the next multiple of 3 is 2 multiplied by 3 or 6 in this way amber and ani you can find out the number on which the sweet will land and then you can catch it that's a very nice game fairy can we try now oh sure now the sweet is on number 5 so ani where will the sweet go next 1 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to 10 similarly 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15 and i have got the sweet fairy very good ani now amber your turn the sweet is on number 8 start with 2 multiplied by 8 okay the sweet will jump 8 numbers two times so 2 multiplied by 8 is equal to 16 now i have to find 
the next multiple to catch the sweet. 3 multiplied by 8 is 24. I have got the sweet fairy. Very good. You have used multiplication nicely to play this game. But fairy, these were very small and easy numbers. What if the numbers are bigger like uh, 56 multiplied by 2? Then how can we multiply them easily? We shall first take the number 56. If we split 56 into tens and ones, we get 50 and 6. Now, we shall write 2 in the next row. 50 multiplied by 2 is 100. And also, 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. And now, we will add the two numbers 100 and 12. 100 plus 12 gives 112. So, 56 multiplied by 2 is equal to 112. This is a better way of multiplying two numbers. And faster too. Yes, that's right. This method can also be used to multiply two-digit numbers such as 27 and 15. We get 20 and 7 by splitting 27 into tens and ones. Now, observe the number 15. We get 10 and 5 by splitting 15 into tens and ones. 20 multiplied by 10 is 200. Also, 7 multiplied by 10 is 70. 20 multiplied by 5 is 100. And finally, 7 multiplied by 5 is 35. The last step is to add all the numbers. We get 405 on adding all the individual products. So, 27 multiplied by 15 is equal to 405. Multiplying bigger numbers is so simple. We can solve any problem on multiplication using this method. Oh, is that so? So, let us try out some word problems. Here is your first problem, Annie. I have a pet parrot. His name is Coco. The number of chilies that Coco eats in a day is 3. So, how many chilies can Coco eat in 31 days? That is, in one month. To find out the total number of chilies in a month, I will use the grid method for multiplication. Now I have to calculate the total number of chilies that Coco eats in 31 days. I shall split 31 into 30 and 1. Also in a day, he eats 3 chilies. Now 3 multiplied by 30 is 90. 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. Now we shall add. Very good, Annie. That was very well done. Ready for your turn, Amber? Yes, sure, Fairy. And this is my question for you, Amber. John the farmer has 42 cows. A cow gives 12 litres of milk in a day. So how many litres of milk do 42 cows give in a day? Using the same grid method, 
I shall calculate the total quantity of milk produced in a day. We shall first take the number 42. It can be split into 40 and 2. Now observe the number 12. We can split 12 as 10 and 2. 40 multiplied by 10 is 400. 10 multiplied by 2 is equal to 20. 2 multiplied by 40 is equal to 80. 2 multiplied by 2 gives 4. The final step is to add all the numbers. On adding all numbers, we get 504. So, 42 multiplied by 12 is equal to 504, which is the total quantity of milk produced in a day. So friends, I am sure that now you can easily find out how many grains of wheat we carry each day to our homes. And to help you with this task, I shall recap all the important points of today's lesson on multiplication. A number line makes multiplication simple. Multiplication of two digit numbers can be made simpler by splitting them into tens and ones. Multiplication helps us to solve problems in our day to day life. 